And in this tutorial today you will be learning how you can uh, control servo motor with ultrasonic sensor so it will help you to trigger servo motor when an, an ultrasonic sensor and detects anything so well, let's get started and get into the tutorial and first of all you need to open this website called First of all, you need to open this website called tinkercat.com and go to circuits. When you go to circuits, click on create new circuit and you will be looking at the empty canvas and on the right side, you will see some components. So as you can see, there are very less components uh, are here. But uh, if you want some more components, just click on this uh, drop down menu and click on all. Now you can see the components are much more than before. So, first of all, what we are going to need is a ultrasonic sensor. Next thing we are going to need is a Servo motor and one more thing which will control everything is Arduino UN. So let's arrange these components accordingly so we can make all the connections easily. Let me place it like that. Okay, so further moving on to the tutorial, let me show you the code first. As you can see in this code, the, the trigger pin is connected to 6 and echo pin is connected to 7 and servo pin is connected to pin number 9. So we have to connect the trigger pin at pin 6 of the Arduino. So we have to connect this trigger pin. Let me zoom in. There we go. We have this trigger pin. This will go to pin number 7. Pin number 6 according to the code. You connect it to the pin number 6. And you can also arrange it. like that and then connect this echo pin according to pin number seven so let's go connect this echo pin to pin number seven and move on, move on to let's arrange these wires let me put this one and change the color of wire to something Find it better, and this is a VCC pin. We have to connect it to the 5 volt of the Arduino and change the color of wire into here. You can change the color of wires on this place as well, and you can change which wires are you, you are going to use hookup wires, alligator clips, or automatic. So, we will just as load out as well. Uh, in the future tutorials so keep watching my videos and also subscribe so now you have to connect this non wire to the ground and change the color to black okay so our ultrasonic sensor connections are almost done and now move on to the servo connection so let me arrange some motor right here and this one is a ground pin so connect it with the ground pin right here
and this one is a power you have to connect it with 5 volt at this place and change the color of wire as well change to red changing to black okay so this one is a signal wire this will go to pin number nine right here so let me change the color into this is yellow okay so this is the circuit so let me zoom out so here we have now go to the code and as you can see the uh, constant distance threshold is 50 let me change it to 50 or 20 let's say so when the distance is will be less than that that servo will rotate 90 degrees and otherwise it will turn back to zero so control all select all the code and copy it and this code is also given in the description you can go there and copy it and go to this code option and from this code option click on box and then click on text click on continue and you need to move this code and paste your code that you have copied here now click on code again and click on start simulation then you will start the simulation you will see the servo will rotate to its initial position which is zero then then we will now you can see this is the area of ultrasonic sensor detection so let me move when it will reduce from 50 or 20 the servo will rotate as you can see the servo is rotating so stop and go back to code and change 20 back to 50 now start the simulation again as you can see we have the dot here which is a um, moving part as you can see the distance is less than 20 uh, 50 centimeters that's why it's uh, the servo is rotated 190 degree so if we go for the servo will rotate back to its original position so you can make a mini project with it like the automatic car parking system just like that when the car comes nearby to the garage the door will automatically open and when the car back the door will automatically close you can add a little bit delay into this so this is uh, pretty much it and subscribe my channel thanks for watching and keep watching my videos